All right, so today we would like to take a look at this right here. This is the Libra by Eureka. This is in their Mignon line and it is a very, very cool grinder because it omits one big step in espresso preparation and that is having to weigh stuff out. So this includes an integrated scale, which is just awesome. This is gonna be more of an in-depth review of my use case with this machine and how it has been grinding for me. In particular, in regards to the weighing function. How well does it work? So what I'm going to do is just talk about the machine. I'm going to compare it a little bit to this little guy right here. This is the Specialita. This one is actually a little bit taller than the Specialita, but they do share a lot of the same features. They've got the same motor inside, the 310 watt, very strong motor. What looks to me to be the same display as well. Very nice crisp white on black display. They have got the same burrs, 55 millimeter stainless steel burrs. What I have noticed, however, is that with the Libra, I only need about eight or nine seconds for a 16 gram dose. And on the Specialita, I've needed more like 16 seconds. I don't know why, but my Specialita is like super slow. It's an older unit and I think maybe it came with different burrs than what they're selling these days. But as far as the grinds go, the Libra makes beautiful, clump-free, static-free grinds. They shoot real nice into the porter filter. But again, the main thing here is how well does this work with weighing stuff out? I have used a weighing espresso grinder before, the Sete 270WI, and that one unfortunately faulted out a lot for me because it lost its grip on the portafilter. And it was especially tough with that grinder to use bottomless portafilters. And I'm happy to say that this grinder is nice and solid. You can use all different sorts of portafilters in there and it works great. So what we're gonna do is just have a look here uh, at various portafilters. We're even going to try a catch cup and see how that works. I've experimented a lot and most things work fine, but they do require a little bit of finesse. And one thing to mention is that if you want this to work really well and not spill any grinds anywhere, you're going to want to use a funnel. Funnels are nice anyway if you want to do some WD teen. So with that being the case, I do definitely recommend that you get a funnel. It doesn't come with the Libra, which is too bad, but this is a 58 millimeter funnel. It also fits on my Laylit 57 millimeter porta filter, so that's good. And then um, I've also got this 54 millimeter funnel as well. And this one fits perfect for the brevels. So that's nice. There is just a little bit of tolerance there. So you might be able to use this on a 53 millimeter portafilter too, like on a La Spaziale. And I'm gonna try it today, I've never done this before, and see if maybe it might fit even on a DeLonghi 51 millimeter portafilter. So we're gonna give that all a shot today and just see how it works. Now I have been kind of tracking this and generally it gives me about plus or minus 0.1 gram, but we're gonna do some different dosing today and we're just gonna see empirically how well it performs. And at the end, we'll make a delicious espresso. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the 58 millimeter right here. That's what this funnel's designed for. Just put that right on there. Setting this up is easy. There is a set screw down on the bottom, that black set screw. And you just lift it up like that and then put it, uh, tighten this nut here once you've got the positioning. So let's go ahead and do that. This is the Gajia. And it's pretty easy to do. You don't want it like super tight and squished in there. You want it to be able to be so that you can take it out and put it back in. And there it sits. So let's put some beans in here and see how well it works. I'm using beans from Mira Coffee Roasters. And these are really tasty beans. So it's kind of a shame that I'm going to just do all this grinding and not use it. But what I will do instead is I'm just going to save this for later for a pressurized extraction. All right, so of course, it's important that we measure this out first. Tear it out. And we're shooting for 16 grams. Let's give it a shot. So 
Sometimes I will just give it a couple of extra little ch -ch -ch at the end to get that last little bit. So let's see what have we got here. 15.8, so that is minus 0.2. All right, in the hatch. Now, that was a 58 millimeter porta filter from Gaja. Let's try a 57 millimeter from Leilit. And how does that fit? Oh, I'm gonna have to adjust it a little bit. Okay, that time it was satisfied. And we got 15.9, very good. Only minus 0.1, that is nice. That's the 57. Now, we're gonna try the 54 millimeter from uh, Breville or Sage. And this one is not a bottomless. So, oh, I gotta tear that out. Tear it out. All right, and here we've got 15.8. So again, minus 0.2, but did a nice job. Be beautiful, beautiful grind there. And finally, let's go ahead and see if we can get this to work for the Dedica. Maybe that can. Cross my fingers. So it did actually work. It spilled just a few little grounds there because this is not a good fit. Uh, this funnel is not a good fit on the porta filter, and I forgot to tear it out. But let's just do it backwards. So now we're at zero. So 15.9. So yeah, just again minus 0.1. So that is great. It works as you can see on already four different porta filters. That's pretty awesome. Let's see if we can use it with a catch cup. Let's tear that sucker out. This is a little bit more finicky, I would say. It does want to notice some weight here. So let's just give that a shot. Okay, it says FH. That means you have to remove whatever you want to put in there. Wait three seconds and put it back. Let's try it like this. Okay, so that time it worked. It did take some fiddling for sure. And 15.9, so just minus 0.1, that's very good. And this is not designed for these catch cups, I wouldn't say. But if you fiddle with it enough, you'll find a spot where it will work. All right, so with all of that being said, you can see it worked great for the port of filters. With the um, catch cup, however, it didn't work on the first try. I had to certainly fiddle around with it quite a bit. And it does take some getting used to. That brings me to my next point, which is wife acceptance factor. Although I love this grinder, for me, it makes everything much easier. The scale's already integrated, so it just removes one whole big step of the process, and I think that's great. My wife, on the other hand, says, no, I just wanna press a button and have it come out. I don't wanna have to fiddle with anything at all. And she did have problems, actually, sticking a porta filter in here and having it work and I'm not really sure why because I can just stick it right in there no problem and get myself a dose just like that
But with all that being said, the wife acceptance factor in our household for the Libra is not good. She much prefers the Specialita. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a shot. By the way, guys, if you are liking this video at all, all I ask is that you write a comment. What do you think about the Libra? Uh, what do you think about the Mignon line in total? It's absolutely my favorite line of grinders, and I think this is great. Excellent. Let's see how that shot comes out. A little too fine. There we go. All right, there we got a delightful shot made by the Eureka Libra. Mm, very nice. I find that the Eureka, the whole Mingnan line makes really delightful shots. They give me nice body. You can pretty much expect that. Yeah, so it's pretty much what I would expect from the Mignon line. I always get nice body and it seems to kind of pull out those chocolatey notes, oftentimes kind of like a bittersweet chocolate. Sometimes I get a little almond or marzipan, and I can expect if I'm using fresh beans, um, I'm gonna get a really tasty shot. What I love is the fact that I can use all different kinds of porter filters, and they all fit in there really well. The adjustment is easy. So for me, the ergonomics of this machine are great. Being able to use it with multiple machines, awesome. It takes one whole step out of the process and that way if my beans are getting a little bit older and I need to make an adjustment on the fly or if I'm using different beans, I can make the adjustment here and I can omit having to use my scale. And I can count on this to be within 0.1.2 grams and that is great, very nice. And talking about adjustments, this adjustment knob here on the Libra is bigger and it's a little nicer than using the Specialita. So that's kind of a nice upgrade as well. Now, of course, you do have to use these with the funnels, which you see here, but these are very nice, beautifully uh, machined aluminum funnels with magnets on the bottom. And they sit right on top of the port filter, just like that. So that is very nice. The cheaper ones that you may find on Amazon, they have a ridge usually on the inside. So they sit on the inside of the basket and therefore they leave like a hole around the perimeter of the puck and that kind of sucks. So yeah, I would definitely recommend if you're going for the Libra to pick up the respective funnel that, that you need to go with it. And I think that you're going to really quite enjoy this grinder. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if so, give it a like. If you hated it, dislike it. And uh, whatever the case, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.